The healthcare industry is under mounting pressure these days and from some familiar factors. Regulatory change, exploding data volumes due to proliferating technology, both medicine-specific and consumer-oriented, and the need to adapt to changing compute models like online services and cloud computing. That's why you should take the time to watch this informative webcast, Improving Care and Efficiency with a Converged Medical Infrastructure. Much of the challenge revolves around the need to manage increasing data loads efficiently, cost-effectively, and in a way that makes data accessible across the enterprise, says Todd Simons, Associate Director of Radiology Informatics at Penn Medicine. We're like any other business. We want to continue to grow our patient and exam volumes as best we can. Um, certainly in the environment that is there today, it has been somewhat more difficult. Um, certainly if you look at our infrastructure, you know, running three packs is not the uh, not the most efficient way. Uh, it, it does not help patient care. Um, as we have other projects going on, where we're going to start be doing some decision support with uh, some other companies. So we need to see all those images in, in one location across our across our health system. You know, every year we continue to you know our, our images continue to get larger and larger. I mean, two three years ago we were running probably about 15 terabytes a year. We're now running 22 to 24 terabytes a year. We expect that to go to 40 terabytes once we, you know, collapse all of our three packs together. With that, this year's growth will probably come out of uh, there's some new technology, um, 3D MAMO uh, tomosynthesis, which are really large devices. We have a fairly large mammography uh, practice here, Women's Health. So we expect that will certainly impact our storage as we move forward. GE Healthcare is a well-known name in this dynamic market. GE Healthcare has focused its technology strategy on the overall priorities of the health system, says Andrew Van Rasik, Global Product Marketing Manager for GE Healthcare IT. Our strategy is really around health imagination, and so across that spectrum of identifying disease and treating it, we're really looking at technologies and services to reduce costs, you know, increase quality of, uh, of outcomes or, uh, or the systems themselves, and then also uh, get, getting access or granting access to more physicians and more patients to those technologies and services. And GE Healthcare has long looked to HP's partnership for expertise in technology products and systems, says Van Rasik. One of the things that I, I think we can talk about with you know, HP and G is the first thing I think about is longevity. Um, the reason why is we've, you know, we've seen changes in the industry and we do get to face them together and, and really added benefit for the customer base is that you really have two viewpoints. You know, you have one being deep rooted in device and hardware type of in, innovation with, you know, um, servers and, and middleware technology, et cetera. Um, and then we bring in, you know, the, the healthcare aspect of looking at, you know, how do you reduce the cost and quality of access of these procedures? Um, and what's nice is that kind of keeps our partnership always evolving. HP and GE Healthcare are working together on a robust solution. GE Centricity packs an enterprise archive with HP converged medical infrastructure for their mutual clients and with the aid of customers like Penn Medicine, says Pete Bray, worldwide marketing manager for HP Storage. What converged medical infrastructure is, is taking that rich portfolio that we have at HP and purposing it for specifically for medical applications. What does that mean? Well, we work very closely, and you know, what we're talking about here today is working very closely with GE to prove out, to test the solution in our own labs before it even uh, appears in, a, in a, a, a hospital's data center, for instance, um, so that you know when you've deployed it, it's going to work, and you've got both GE and HP standing behind the solution. So that's really what the converged medical infrastructure is. The leverage that the close working partnership of HP and GE Healthcare brings to this project is their deep technology experience and authority, says Bray. Because HP and GE have worked very closely on the solution that we're talking about here with uh, GE Centricity Packs and their enterprise uh, archive offerings, we've worked with them very closely um, to prove out a solution that you know when you deploy it in your environment, it's going to work. So we take a lot of that guesswork out um, of that component. And to be certain, you know, there are a lot of things that influence or impact the effectiveness of medical diagnoses. You can rest assured, though, that for the applications that we're talking about here, for the infrastructure, we've done all of the heavy lifting for you. 
The advantage for Penn Medicine of such a system is clear, even as they deal with new IT service models, says Simons. They talked about the private cloud. I think we probably have a hybrid. We're not sure we're ready to go to a public cloud with uh, patient data yet, or at least for, for HUP isn't, isn't quite there yet. Um, so we have co-located to uh, another data center where uh, we pay by the, you know, by the, by the, by the operational tile. So having, having four tiles is, is X cost, and, uh, and as we'll see as we move to HP's 9720 with one touch point, we will consolidate all four of those into one tile and allow us to, to double uh, or even triple what, what space we have currently on all these other four systems. And it helps orient Penn Medicine for the future, Simon says. You know, it's a fairly simple solution what we're doing. I mean, EA is feeding, right now, feeding the, the long-term archive. So certainly, you know, saving on costs on multiple fronts. One, you know, I'm down from four to, to one to one long-term archive, so a lot less touch points. One vendor to call when, if there's an issue. Um, the system, I guess we've had the system in for a little over... Uh, uh, eight, eight months now at this point, um, and I believe uh, there was only one, you know, we've only had one, one downtime for, for some upgrades, which was part of, was integrated into when we moved to the data center. Um, scalability, I'm very confident we'll be able to uh, scale as, if the business requires it. Um, uh, again, simple architecture. To gain insight into these technology challenges and potential solutions, be sure to access this informative webcast and hear these experts talk about their real-world experience in the rapidly evolving healthcare industry.